Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learner's Planet. Friends, this is our third session for rational numbers. In the previous session, we discussed some properties of rational numbers. That is, in fact, uh, properties of addition of rational numbers. We discussed commutativity, we discussed about associativity, closer property, and uh, we discussed about additive inverse of a rational number. Then we did some problems based on uh, simplification of rational numbers. In this session, we are going to discuss about subject subtraction of rational numbers right so you have your paper and pen with you and try to solve the problems with me so let's begin this session so let's discuss subtraction of rational numbers now subtraction is actually what the addition of additive inverse suppose I have a number a by p right so if I have to subtract uh, maybe p by q from it okay if I have to subtract p by q from a by p what I will do I'll add additive inverse of this that means I will add minus p by q over here so it's a by p minus p by q okay getting me so it's very simple let's do two three problems suppose i have to subtract three by four from maybe uh, five by six so it's five by six and what is the additive inverse of three by four that's minus three by four okay just take lcm six and four lcm will be 12 six into two uh, will be 12 so that 2 into 5 is 10 minus 4 3s are 12 and that 3 into this 3 is 9 so it's 1 by 12 okay let's take more examples now here we have to subtract the first first rational number from the second so first rational number from second okay so we subtract it take lcm it's 8 so 5 will be as it is and minus sign and 3 will be as it is. so it's 2 by 8 now simplify this so it's 1 by 4 okay as simple as that let's take the next one now we have to subtract 4 by 9 minus this Okay, we have to subtract second number, uh, first number from second number. So first number and I have sub I'm subtracting second uh, this uh, second number, right? This is second number. I'm subtracting the first number. Okay, so it's four by nine minus and if minus is uh, multiplied with minus, we'll be getting positive sign. So it's seven by nine. Nine is the LCM. Four plus seven is eleven right so if you subtract minus 7 by 9 from 4 by 9 you'll be getting 11 by 9 okay do not uh, like uh, make a mistake over here if you have to subtract minus 7 by 9 from 4 by 9 so you are uh, so we will be adding negative sign over here and it is minus 7 by 9 over here okay I'll take the next one now we have to subtract minus 2 by 11 from minus 9 by 11 so minus 9 by 11 minus of minus 2 by 11 okay so it's minus 9 by 11 minus into minus will be plus and then it is 2 by 11 take LCM so minus 9 plus 2 is minus 7 and that is 11 okay I hope you are getting it now in this case we have to subtract 11 by 13 from minus 4 by 13 so that is the first step okay so it's minus 4 by 13 minus 11 by 13 take 13 as LCM it is minus 4 it is minus 11 so it is minus 15 and this is 13 okay now in this case we have to subtract this from this so it's okay so it's 
minus 13 by 14 plus 6 by 7. Now take LCM. LCM of 14 and 7 is 14. Now 14 into 1 is 14. So that 1 into this 13 is 13 with a negative sign. Plus 7 2s are 14. So that 2 into this 6 is 12. So minus 13 plus 12 is minus 1 and this is 14. Okay. I hope you are getting it. Take one more. Here in this case we have to subtract this from this. Right. So okay so it's minus and minus will be plus now LCM of 22 and 33 will be 66 now 22 into 3 is 66 so that 3 into 7 is 21 with a negative sign plus 33 into 2 is uh, 66 so that 2 into 8 is 16 now minus 21 plus 16 is minus 5 and this is 66 okay so the problems are really very simple you need to have some practice uh, so you can print the worksheets and uh, can do the problems so you'll be gaining the confidence now we have to evaluate this it's minus 4 by 7 minus and uh, this negative sign can be shifted to numerator we put a bracket over here so it's minus 4 by 7 and minus and minus will be plus okay when two minus signs are uh, multiplied we'll be getting a plus sign over here now take LCM LCM of 7 and 3 is 21 now 7 into 3 is 21 so that 3 into this 4 12 with a negative sign then plus 3 into 7 is 21 so that 7 into 2 is 14 so it's 2 by 21 okay now here it's 4 by 7 minus minus 5 by minus 7 now in the numerator and denominator minus sign is there so it will be cancelled and what we will be getting this only okay so here LCM will be 7 so and uh, both of them are having uh, same denominator so we add them as it is so it's 4 minus 5 so that's minus 1 by 7 okay now here it's minus 2 by 1 where when you do not have denominator you can take as 1 then this is okay take LCM will be 9 1 into 9 so that 9 into minus 2 is minus 18 minus 9 into 1 is 9 so that 1 into 5 is 5 okay so 18 and minus 18 minus 5 is minus 23 and this is 9 okay similarly we have this it's minus 4 by 13 minus of minus 5 by 26 so it's minus 4 by 13 minus into minus will be plus 5 by 26 take LCM LCM of 13 and 26 will be 26 so 13 into 2 is 26 so that 2 into this 4 is 8 with a negative sign plus 26 into 1 is 26 so that 1 into 5 will be 5 so minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3 and this is 26 okay now we have this problem uh, we have to take the LCM of 15 and 25 so LCM of 15 and 25 is 75 okay so 13 by 15 minus 12 by 25 now 15 into 5 is 75 so that 5 into 13 is 65 now 25 into 3 is 75 so that 3 into 12 is 36 right so 65 minus 36 okay I hope you are getting it now friends uh, we have word problems like this here 
the sum of two numbers is minus 1 by 3 if one is this we have to find out the other now let the other number be x now sum of minus 12 by 3 and x is actually minus 1 by 3 right now whenever you have to uh, solve uh, such equations what you do is you uh, take all the data from left hand side to right hand side except the variable uh, for which we have to find out the value so x is equal to minus 1 by 3 if it is negative sign over here so if it goes to right hand side it will be like a negative of that so it's minus of minus 12 by 3 okay now x is equal to minus 1 by 3 minus of minus will be plus so 12 by 3 just take LCM that's 3 only so it's minus 1 plus 12 so it's 11 by 3 so value of x will be 11 by 3 okay I hope you are getting it similarly we take next sum here sum of two numbers is minus 4 by 3 and one number is minus 5 find the other that means uh, we assume the other number to be x so minus 5 plus x is minus 4 by 3 take minus 5 this side so it will be negative of minus 5 so it's minus 4 by 3 plus 5 by 1 this minus into minus will be plus okay now take LCM is 3 3 into 1 is 3 so that 1 into 4 is 4 with negative sign plus 1 into 3 is 3 so that 3 into 5 is 15 okay so it's 15 minus 4 that is 11 by 3 so value of x is 11 by 3 so if you add 11 by 3 to minus 5 you'll be getting minus 4 by 3 okay now what number should be subtracted from 3 by 7 to get 5 by 4 let the number be x so if we subtract x from 3 by 7 we should get 5 by 4 right so minus x is equal to 5 by 4 minus 3 by 7 I take this uh, to this side take LCM LCM of 4 and 7 is 28 now 4 into 7 is 28 so that 7 into this 5 is 35 minus 7 into 4 is 28 so that 4 into this 3 is 12 so minus x is equal to 35 minus 12 by 28 that is 23 by 28 okay so it's minus x is equal to 23 by 28 so x will be what minus 23 by 28 that it that is additive inverse okay so x is equal to minus 23 by 28 as simple as that okay so you can do this sort of problems uh, very easily now now this sort of problems what should be added to this to get 3 right first of all what we do is uh, we simplify this and uh, maybe we can do it directly uh, we add x to this to get 3 now solve this take LCM LCM of 2, 3 and 5 will be 30. Now 2 into 15 is 30. So that 15 into 1 is 15. Plus 3 into 10 is 30. So that 10 into 1 is 10. Similarly, 5 into 6 is 30. So 6 into 1 is 6. Plus x is equal to 3. Okay. Now this is 15 plus 10, 25 plus 6, 31 by 30 plus x is equal to 3 so x will be what 3 or 3 by 1 it can be written as 3 by 1 as well minus 31 by 
30. Okay. Now take LCM of 1 and 30. It's 30. 1 into 30 is 30. So that 30 into this 3 is 90. Minus 30 into 1 is 30. So that 1 into 31 is 31. So 90 minus 31. That is 59 by 30. So value of x is 59 by 30. Okay. That means 59 by 30 is the number. If it is added to this, we will be getting 3. Okay. So the length of the problem doesn't matter. Maybe it is small or maybe it is lengthy. But the procedure is really very simple. Right. You should be expert enough to take the LCM and do not make mistake in calculations. Okay. Now friends, let's do uh, this sort of problems where we have to simplify uh, the set of rational numbers. Now what you do? Here the denominators are 4, 6 and 8. So take LCM of 4, 6 and 8. So that's 24. Okay. Now write 24 over here. Now 4 into 6 is 24. So that 6 into this 3 is 18. Okay, just watch it carefully. 6 into 4 is 24. So that 4 into 5 is 20. Retain the sign. Here it's negative. So I'll put negative sign. 8 into 3 is 24. So that 3 into the 7 is 21. So 18 plus 20 is 38. 38 minus 21 is 20. I'm sorry, 17. And this is 24. Okay. Now here, take LCM of, first of all, rewrite it like this. Now take LCM of 3, 6 and 9. So LCM of 3, 6 and 9 will be 18. Okay, so I write 18 over here. Now 3 into 6 is 18. So that 6 into this 2 is 12. Minus 6 into 3 is 18. So that 3 into 5 is 15. Minus 9 into 2 is 18. So that 2 into 7 is 14. Right? So 15 and 14, that is 29. And 29 minus 12 is... It's negative 17 by 18 okay I hope you are clear now let's do this one doesn't matter how many terms are there just rewrite it okay now you have to take the LCM of 3 4 6 and 8 And that is 24 okay now what you do write 24 over here now 3 into 8 is 24 so that 8 into this 8 is 64 with negative sign do not forget to retain the sign the sign will remain same whatever is there minus 4 into 6 is 24 so that 6 into 1 is 6 again 6 into 4 is 24 so that 4 into 11 is 44 plus 8 into 3 is 24 so that 3 into 3 is 9 minus 1 into 24 is 24 so that 24 into this 3 is 72 okay so what you have to do you just have to simplify this So what you can do, you just add all of them separately. 64 and 6 is 70. 70, I just write it over here. 70, uh, I'll just put the negative sign afterwards. This is 70, this is 44 and this is 72. So I have taken all the numbers which are ha having negative signs. So it's 4 and 2, 6, 7 and 7, 14 plus 4, 18. Right? So it's minus 186 plus 9 by 24. Now deduct 9. So it will be minus 170 
7 by 24. Now just see if it can be simplified or further. See 7 and 7, 14 plus 1, 15. So this number is multiple of 3 and this is also multiple of 3. So divide by 3, numerator and denominator both. So it will be 3 fives are 15, 2 and 3 nines are 27 and this. Okay. So this minus 177 by 24 is actually minus 59 by 8. Okay. So I am sure you might have enjoyed this session and we will be taking a next set of problems based on rational numbers. We will be even discussing about multiplication and division of rational numbers in the next session. Right. So do revise this session and the previous ones as well. Bye-bye.